Today I want to say a bit more about the prayers of the people and the peace. Um, so the intercessions and then uh, the peace that is the pivotal part of our Eucharistic celebration. One of our responses to what we've heard and discerned for our faith through the readings, the sermon, the creed, is in the form of the prayers of the people or the intercessions. In these prayers we gather up all our cares and concerns, personal and global, and we offer them to God in prayer, often informed by what we've just heard. Prayer that God will change something, and prayers that God will change us into a people empowered to address all these cares and concerns. This is where we acknowledge the reality of our world and our role in bringing in God's reign of justice, love, and peace. The cares and concerns of the world that we brought with us are prayed for either by the leader or by us in our own hearts. We call to mind that God is acting to bring peace and and that we're given gifts by God to join in with that uh, join in with that activity. As Teresa of Avila writes, and I said last week, we are the hands and feet of Christ in the world today and tomorrow. These prayers are for many things and change each week. There are regular prayers for all the leaders of the nations, that they will be makers of peace and justice. There are prayers for the church, that we will know the strength and love of God that sustains us and calls us out to love our neighbor. There are prayers for, for world issues and trouble as well as local issues and troubles. There are prayers for the, those who are sick or in need in any way, that they will be comforted and healed. Finally, there are prayers for those who have died and who now are counted among the hosts of heaven and support us in our continued work as followers of Christ. Through these prayers and the confession and absolution, we continue on a journey to a place of peace through the peace of God, which brings us to the peace in our liturgy. The peace is a pivotal moment when we move from the ordinary to the extraordinary, from reality to a commitment to a dream. In the peace, we renew our commitment to live in peace and to work for peace with those who are sitting around us or, or those who are in our family, our neighbors, our community, our, the whole world. We affirm our faith in the triumph of good over evil, love over hate, life over death. In the sharing of the peace, we affirm both God's dream and our commitment to live into that dream in our time. We know that we've not yet achieved peace in the world and in our lives, but this symbolic act reminds us and helps us to practice making peace. It may not be easy to keep peace, but it is much harder to make peace. And Christ tells us, Blessed are the peacemakers, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. In our prayers, we acknowledge and pray for our broken world, and in the peace, we dare to dream that it is possible to heal this world. Then we boldly step up to the Eucharistic table to model what it means for all to have a place where they belong and are loved. In their greeting, our Jewish and Muslim neighbors say, Peace be with you. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. And we follow that ancient tradition in our worship as we say, The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's take a moment of silence to call to mind and know in our hearts the peace of God which passes all understanding.
O Lord, make us instruments of your peace, so that all the world may know your hope and love. Amen.